Welcome back. It's now 524. We are continuing our crucial conversations about race and equality in central Georgia as the country continues to take a deeper look at patterns that have persisted for generations. I spoke to a real estate investor and make a native about the challenges minority communities face in the housing market. You gotta come in here and paint and get new drywall in and get in a clean fresh look. Courtney Newman's knows homes. What made you want to move into the Macon market? Well, being born and raised in Macon, uh, I think it was an opportunity for me to be able to learn the business outside of Macon and then get the education and and background to be able to come back to Macon to be able to put the dollars to use in the community. It's something that I've always wanted to do. Now he is creating affordable and workforce housing. What do you think are some of the challenges that black and brown people face when trying to get a home? Uh, I think it's just that affordability and then it's also, it's maybe not, it's not as much inventory there for them to choose. Um, when I was looking at data in Megan, around 16% of the houses are vacant. What will it take to um, give black and brown communities in Macon that same opportunity to have home ownership? It's not going to happen overnight. It's going to take something where it's going to be a 10, 15, 20 year initiative because we have to really drive the income to be able to have home ownership. In Georgia, the median income is around $56,000, but Macon sits well below that at around $42,000. Newman says projects like the Bells Hill and Pleasant Hill initiatives are good, giving people down payment assistance. Also, we have to have education because as a black community, we always have been on the uh, trailing uh, initiative behind our counterparts of knowing our access to money, what it takes to get money, and knowing what do you need to be able to be qualified for a mortgage. So I think you still have to have those initiatives by the community to be able to educate and give back and knowing and say, hey, what factors does it take for me to be able to go to a bank or a mortgage company to be able to get um, pre-approved or qualified for the housing process. A lot of people want to get in the rental market and then they get comfortable with say, hey, I have rent here and it's good, but you're not building your wealth. Newman's is currently renovating a 36 multifamily rental unit off of Vineville. He does want to expand though into rehabbing single family homes and make a next focusing on that home ownership. If you would like to see more of our crucial conversations, just visit our website, 13WMAZ.com. We'll be right back.